Shalom, shalom, Shabbat shalom. This is December uh, 20th, 2019. I'm your king of priests, Anthodia. Peace and blessings to you. Uh, may the most high grant you peace and safety on the Shabbat. This is part five of the Mark of the Beast. Um, you can find more information on our YouTube channel if you want to uh, see the rest, how we led up to where we're at. But we're going to continue with chapter 13 and 14. And we're going to start with uh, chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now, a lot of people don't understand that this image is going to be a true AI technology. It's already been given citizenship. AI technology has already been given citizenship in Saudi Arabia. So when you see this uh, uh, technology in the temple, in Ezekiel's temple, uh, in Jerusalem, just know that you are already far along uh, in this whole system of things. Now, we don't know... If it's going to be after the Ezekiel War, but we do know it's going to be before World War Four, or if it's going to be in between, or it's going—it has to be at, at a time of peace. So it has to be after the Ezekiel War. This is my opinion. You can go and look up and research, search for yourself. Um, those who are left. Uh, would be subjected to um, this system because now it's kind of out in the open and there's no uh, chaos for them to bring a solution and to have a, a, a reaction and then a solution which is first they show chaos then they have a reaction then they have a solution so it says, then he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and that image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship, the image of the beast should be killed. Remember I told you, worship is to bow down and to accept authority like a dog. That's the kind of worship they're talking here. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Remember, the mark has to be an etching or a cutting. Because, yes, we're going, a lot of people think that we're going to have, your phone is going to be the mark of the beast, or your uh, real ID is going to be the mark of the beast. Those are only things of register. Your phone is to register and to get a tally of all people in your habits, okay? That's what your phone and that's what the ID is for, to get a register first. They have to know how many is available. So that has to come first. The register has to come first. That's why it's imperative. It is it is an obligation for you to read the third book of Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 28. So you, have, you can see it has to be a registration first. Because how do you know how many people to mark if you don't know how many people? All right. Verse 17. And that no man might bow sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay, the number of his name is 666, which comes out to be the Vicar of Christ. This is what the Pope carries around, okay? Um, and he is considered the head of that beast, okay? That system, the government system that is going to eventually have all three religions come together and have political and financial power, okay? Because they're going to give it over to him. Now. You, once you have the 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 uh, system in place. It's already in place. The system is already in place. But there's going to be pockets. Because it's not going to be able to hold together. That's why it's in the feet. Feet, iron, and clay don't hold together. It's a ruling iron. But it's also clay. Okay. So it can't hold the statue up. The statue is, is weak. Anything could teeter the the statue over and the thing that's going to teeter the statue over is the stone that's cut out without hands okay 
this is the Messiah, okay? That stone has seven eyes on it. That stone is seven sights of wisdom or seven insights of wisdom. That is the Holy Spirit, okay? That's what's going to smash that this statue. Because you do not have to accept the mark of the beast. You understand that? You don't have to accept the mark of the beast. You do not have to give over to the will of your stomach. You do not have to be greedy for power. And you do not have to be greedy for wealth and recognition. Okay? Those are the three temptations of Christ. Bread, power, and worship. Those are the three things that Satan offered the son of man. You are a son of man. Or don't don't think I'm excluding women because women, when men, right? Or a man with a womb, okay? The inverse of a man, okay? You're still a part of the family of human beings. Alright? So don't get it twisted that you you're not you're exempted from this, okay? But we have to really understand that. The things that's going to be there is worship of this AI um, technology or this image that they will have, the mark, the etching, and the laws, the ecclesiastical laws of keep 